today I'm making 100 popsicles for shelter dogs. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now you might have already seen this before, but I've got a show called Dogs Day Out where I take a dog out on the best day they've ever had. But this is gonna be the biggest Dogs Day Out I've ever done because we're gonna do this with all of the dogs that are in the shelter. As we're filming this video, parks and beaches are closed, so it's not gonna be an easy task. But the good news is they do have a lot of space here, so I'm gonna go look around and we're gonna come up with something that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna kick this off by touring the facility and also I wanna give a special thanks to our sponsor, Smarty Paws. I love helping all dogs, but these dogs right here, they could really use some extra love and support. You see, they've actually been in quarantine just like all of us and a lot of them actually had to have surgeries. They've had it pretty rough. They haven't had any visitors to the shelters and in that time, they couldn't even be adopted. That is, until now. They're actually coming off their hold at the shelter after weeks of being cooped up. And finally, they're gonna be available for adoption tomorrow. That means I have 24 hours to get everything ready so that they can have the best day ever. And the biggest point of all of this is to really show all of you how awesome these dogs are so that they have a chance at finding their forever home. I'm hoping that we find an area that we can build something or make something that's really awesome. Just like if it was a park or an area outside that these dogs could really go have a good time at. First we checked out the play yards, which could work, but I wanna keep looking in case we can find something even bigger. And while we're looking around, we gotta meet some of the dogs. So this first dog I wanna introduce you to, this husky is named Luna. Wow, look at those eyes, Luna. Think about Luna, she's easy to fall in love with real quick. Like, wow. Look. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know, she's in love with me too. Did you hear her say, you love me too? Now I actually know Luna, I've met her before. I thought I recognized her at first and I think that's why she was so happy to see me, but she was actually adopted and unfortunately, she's been returned. And it just breaks my heart to think about what was going through her head when she came back. She had to be thinking, oh no, here we go again. I'm being returned again, I'm not, I'm not good enough, loved enough. And now she's been here for a month. I'm in love, guys, already. I mean, hit that like button if you are in love with Luna as much as I am. You wanna play? The San Gabriel Valley Humane Society works so hard to show these animals that they are loved. That's why I think we've got to do everything we can to help them get adopted. And you know what? You can actually help by hitting that like button and watching this video again and again because then YouTube will show it to more people and we're more likely to get Luna and all of her friends adopted. All right, now let's keep looking for that perfect space. I mean, look at this. Look at all this room. It might be too much space. Like, I don't know if they could run off or... So I wanna show you this little puppy that just had surgery. This is Nugget. Oh, hi, Nugget. Oh, good dog. Look at that little puppy, so cute. I don't know how you would ever turn in a dog like Nugget. It just breaks my heart. They found it on the street, right? Why didn't you know that? Oh, God, it breaks my heart. Can you see it? Oh my, oh my goodness. What is this? This is, like, this is like a secret treasure hideout. You gotta see this. Here, check this out. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is perfect. What is this? Are you kidding me? They had their own popsicle sand. I mean, it's a little run down, but we can, we can shine this baby up. I'm a pet chef, I can make popsicles. All right, we're gonna freshen this place up and we're gonna throw the biggest dog's day out party we've ever thrown. This, this turf's really nice, so we can clean it all up, we can hose it all down, it'll be good as new. I'm gonna call in a few friends to help me out so we can get this project done in time, but guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, while we're waiting on a couple helping hands, I wanna tell you about a special dog named Max. Max is story is he was actually adopted here when he was a puppy. Okay. He was about six, seven months or so. He went to a family. He was doing great with them. I think they had a move or something happened with their living situation. So when they brought him back, he seems to have a little bit of trust issues with strangers. So now we're just trying to introduce them to new people to where he's going to start trusting them again. You see Max and you see how he seems really angry in his cage and, and aggressive. That is not necessarily the dog that he is. When we pull him out, he's actually a great dog and we've actually had him with other dogs and yeah. he's actually dog friendly as well. When he's ready tomorrow, would you be able to take him out there and play with him? Yes. I think what we're gonna see is that Max is really attached to Matt. That's a good thing because then you know you could adopt a dog like Max if you're willing to put the time into it. He will love you and then you just gotta spend time on helping him be the dog that he can be. 
Hey, you want to make some popsicles? Do I want to make some? Yeah, do you want to make popsicles? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got my part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so does it go red, blue, white? Red, white, blue. Specifically, how are you going to make red? Watermelon. Yes. Blue. Blueberries. And then the white will be the, of course, the yogurt. What I love about this too is watermelon is so good for dogs and they love it. Have you ever tried watermelon with your dog? If you haven't, you should try it. It's gonna taste like here. Mmm, that is so good. So if you, just in case you haven't been following along, we're fostering Kobe through reverse rescue. He's blind, he's got heart issues, he's got skin issues, but we're working with him. He will be available for adoption, but first he's gonna have his heart surgery. I'm making a mess everywhere. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Look at these giant tennis balls. Oh my god, your car is full of them. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, so what do you want me on? Ah, you're here! I'm here, I'm ready to do this. Let's get to work. Okay, I'm gonna make Blake Grigsby work really hard, but first I have a fun job. Do you remember the dog, Nugget? Now, Nugget can't actually go outside of his protected area because he hasn't had all his shots yet, but no problem, because I came up with a perfect way to have some fun with Nugget. This simple contraption right here is gonna serve a couple different purposes. One, it's mental stimulation. It's really important for puppies to be stimulated. They have to think, like, when the hot dog's popping out of the different holes, they gotta think about it, and also, it's also also rewarding, right? They get to eat a hot dog when they get the hot dog. Behind you, behind you, oh, you almost got it. Over here, oh, almost got it, back here. Oh, right here, right here, right there. Oh, oh got it! <laughs> Game's over, nugget one. <laughs> Good dog nugget. So do you want to fill up like the, the pools with water? No, 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 okay. It makes sense if a dog likes water, but a lot of dogs don't like water. Mm. So what I'm thinking is instead of the, in the pools, we put giant tennis balls in one. I ordered ball pit balls. Okay. So we can put that in the other one. And then I got another pool. Let's fill it with toys. What about your uh, like your puppuccino? The puppuccinos. Yeah. We did the original puppuccino video here. Oh, wow. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, hey, so you know what time it is? Puppuccino time, Papa Puppuccino time, Puppuccino time, Papa Puppuccino time, Puppuccino time, Puppuccino time, Puppuccino time. I have some decorations. Let's decorate it so it looks nice. Yeah. Let's hose it down so it's all clean. We're gonna rake this stuff up. I'll hand the rake over to you so you can start working on that. I'm gonna start working on the really important part, the most important part of this whole place. What what is that? Popsicle sand. That old thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shine it up and okay. we're, we're gonna bring that thing back to life. Let's help these dogs. It's almost time for Dog's Day Out. I ordered something online at Target. I think, <laughs> I think they're onto us. They knew it's for them. <laughs> I'm a big believer in multifunctional health supplements and our sponsor Smarty Paws does a great job at making a peanut butter flavored supplement. Our Smarty Paws is actually made by Smarty Pants and this one is adult. So this would be for our boy Flip right here. We've got Senior for our senior dog, Zoe. And for our foster pup, Kobe, we even have puppy supplements. Watch how much Kobe loves Smarty Paws. Watch. Kobe, you want a Smarty Paw? You know what to do. You want a Smarty Paw? Sit. Oh, <laughs> he knows. Here you go, good boy. Okay, we've been working on his training. Our dogs love the taste of these supplements. And what I love about them is their quality ingredients. They're wheat-free, they're soy-free, and they're designed by vets. Good boy! Smarty Paws is a great supplement that helps support things like hip and joint, gut and immunity, even things like thyroid health. And it's no wonder. With ingredients like glucosamine, chondroitin, green-lipped muscle, even chia seed and organic alfalfa, all made in the USA, it's something I can stand behind and I love giving to my dogs. Lay down. My girl Zoe right here is a senior dog and you wouldn't even know it if I didn't tell you because we really focus on health and nutrition. It's one of the reasons I love Smarty Paws is because it's good for my dogs and she loves it. Okay, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Go check it out right now. Smarty Paws are available at Target or you can go to Target.com like I did and order them online. So click that link in the description right now and get your dog some really great supplements. I love Smarty Paws. <laughs> All right, I think I've got everything we need here. 
the goal is just to kind of shine this up, freshen this up, because the dogs know, right? They, they can sense and they can feel all of the love and effort that goes into something like this. So that's why this is so important. Sometimes it doesn't take much to do a little DIY project that goes a long way, you know? And I think shelters really appreciate this stuff because they don't always get all the love and support that they should. So I've got chalkboard paint and we're gonna attempt to turn this into a chalkboard so that we can write a new popsicle sign, but then the shelter can use it for whatever they want. So next we're gonna sand this thing. I'm gonna use this brush. I just wanna kind of scratch the surface up enough that the stain will stick to it. Oh yeah, that'll work nice. Look at that. It's kind of the only option I had available, but yeah, it's gonna work nice. We do a lot of DIY projects. Now mind you, they're all for dogs, but what else matters? Look at the difference here. How nice that stain looks already on this board versus this board. It's just gonna prolong the life of this Pupsicle stand. Dogs from far and wide talk about Pupsicle stands. So far, it's only been a myth. I don't know about you, but I have not seen a lot of Pupsicle stands out there, so we gotta really preserve the ones that we have. It's like the Apple store of Pupsicle stands. A lot of dogs, they don't need iPhones. They'd rather come get a Pupsicle, and this is the place to do it. I'm Cindy Rigney, I'm board president here at San Gabriel Valley Humane Society. If you're thinking about adopting a dog or a cat or any kind of animal, I would do a little bit of research first. Always make sure that your family's ready, ready to welcome that dog into their home. It's another part of your family. It is literally like having another child. In a kennel situation, they are scared. They don't like being here any more than, you know, we would like being in a cage. We're working with the animals to get them as adoptable as possible, and we want to find them the best home that will fit with their different personality. Because just like we're different, they're different. All of my babies are from here. Um, I love them, and it's just a dedication to every single animal that I've ever had over the years. Can you believe I got all this in a day? We've got ball pit balls, Yeah. we've got toys. Oh, here, I'll throw this one a little more gentle. <laughs> There we go. We got a hundred of these? We have 100. Oh man, the dogs are gonna love this. I got the ball pit balls. Okay, good, good work, good work. This is a ball pit that I wanna jump in for sure. Rocky, what's this for? I'm glad you asked. You are gonna love it. Whoa. The dogs are gonna love this. My dog Flip wanted to come and play, but they're not out of quarantine yet. So look, we've got Flip toys. How cool is that? Oh, these are cool. Yeah, you can order them too. Just go to rockykanaka.com, merch plug, well, Flip plug. <laughs> so you can get that or Puppuccino toys. Boom, rockykanaka.com, you can order those. But right now, I say we fill the pool with them. You didn't say it squeaks. It squeaks! <laughs> Anyone who's watching this with their dog right now is like, stop! <laughs> Hashtag flip the proof. I got decorations. We're gonna hang up streamers. I've got some balloons right here. It's gotta look good for the dogs, they know. It is a hot day. Uh, I was thinking about Luna all night last night, so it's a lot of hard work, especially in the heat, but if it makes Luna's day, it makes my day. Well, okay, what do you think? <laughs> wow, this is fantastic, look at this. The big question is though, what do you think Luna is gonna think of this space? I think she's gonna be blown away because it's just, it's gorgeous. Yeah, she can it's play gorgeous. with she can giant play with tennis everything. balls. Well, should we grab Luna? All right, all, all right. right, let me go Let's get grab her. Let's okay. get her. Welcome to the biggest dog's day out ever. Okay, this is the big moment. Like, this is what we've been working hard for. Luna is 
gonna see this space and I just, I can't wait. I hope that she really loves it. She deserves it because, you know, she got returned to the shelter and she's gotta be scared and she doesn't know what's going on. And so I think this will show her just how much she's loved. And hopefully enough of people will see this and share this that Luna will get adopted. She's waiting outside. Let's let her in. Come on in. Luna. Look at her checking it out like a good husband. Scoping the scene. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, what's that? Let's get Luna up up soon. It's gotta be somewhat overwhelming. She's never had something like this just all for her. Good girl. You got a little on your nose. It's a hot day. This is fantastic. She's going at the right tempo, checking things out. It makes me so happy to just see her get and run around and play. She feels safe in here. Good girl. <laughs> come here, come here. Just to see Luna so happy when she saw this space makes all of this worth it. But the good news is we have so many more dogs to bring in so they can check it out and have a good time. You wanna play? So Snoopy's a great dog. Snoopy was an owner surrender. Greyhounds are amazing dogs and athletes, so if you want an active dog, Snoopy would be perfect. So, so cute, it's such a pretty dog. Have some fun, Snoop, play around. Awesome. Hi. Here you go. He loves it. That's good for you too. Oh, well, it's gotta be cold. <laughs> oh, you got some on your nose. Blue, <laughs> Blue wants another popsicle. Here you go. Blue loves the popsicles. You're my boy, Blue! Hi, girl. Now we're bringing in Ralph. Rhonda and Ralph were found together as strays off the street. Now, we're pretty sure they're brother and sister, so we wanna bring them in together to play together so that they can just be together. If you're out there and you wanna adopt a brother and sister, keeping them together would be awesome. Hi! Yeah, you want a toy? The thing is, they've been kenneled side by side, so they're together, but they're in separate kennels because they just had surgery. So for them to get to spend this moment together just kind of chokes me up, and I'm, I'm really glad we were able to do this. They're a hoot, but they should be this excited to see each other because it's a reunion. I mean, it makes working hard and throwing this all together in this 24-hour challenge worth it. Kelly, come on in. Come on. Oh, she's cute. She just wants to be held. It's no wonder that Kelly just wants to be held because her owner passed away. And so she lost her family. She's without a family right now. She's a little scared. All right, you remember Max. Now, Max was lunging at the cage. He's growling, he's gnarling. But that's not always reflective of who a dog is. And so we're gonna test something. We're gonna try something. And we're gonna let Max come in here and play by himself. We're gonna let him have a good time. We're all gonna back out and be behind the fence and just let him play. Let's see what happens. He is having a great time. This is awesome. Look at that. See, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Dogs in shelters aren't reflective of who they are. Look how awesome he is. He just needed the opportunity to have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna put the link down below. If you wanna adopt any of these dogs, go click on that link. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and quick, go watch this video or this video right here. Go, 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 go.